What is up guys, it is Nistro here and today I just got a nice video for you guys. Um, we got ourselves the TCG balance and um, this is actually pretty lit. Um, we've been waiting seven months for this list and to be honest it is kind of underwhelming but um, it's better than nothing. It's uh, Let's just jump right into it. So what we got first is Kieran Band, um, long time coming, uh, Tyrant Neptune, um, if you don't know um, it, it just calls for some um, unfair first term plays in OCG. We didn't really use it here, but um, it's uh, it, it's just a precaution, kind of like when banning Kaiser Coliseum. It was more of a precaution than what was actually necessary. So we got Vandy's banned. Uh, finally, after a while, uh, Vandy's has been kind of OP um, when used at the right time. It's it's pretty generic. Um, it's not like in the OP section where it's like always like a game changer, but it can be. It can also hinder the player as well, but it, it does have, oh my god, Kaiba. It does have a lot of versatility, um, and it is g uh, uh, generic, so usually generic cards do get hit faster than non-generic cards um, when they're pretty good, um, unless they're like uh, borderline, like stupid broken. So Maxi uh, got hit to one. Um, it's pretty funny how Maxi gets hit, but um, it's not really the problem. Um, it does allow for a lot of draw power, but it does balance the game out as well. I see why they kept it at one, but um, it, it is a step in the wrong direction in my opinion. So the cat is back. Um, so all these five cards that you see here are cat, brio, Break Control, Future Fusion, and Imperial Order. They all got um, Erratas, and so we just go over them right now. Uh, so Cat, um, I think their Errata is, their effects are negated. Um, also destroyed during the end phase. They already, they already had destroyed during the end phase, but I think their Errata has, was the effects are negated, and you're going to use it once per turn. Um, Saint, well, not saying it, maybe not doing not saying it. Uh, Brain Control Zerata um, is you can only take control of a monster that, was normal, that, that can be normal summoner set, so you can't take extra deck monsters. And uh, if the card says can't be normal summoner set, then you can't take it. Um, it, it is still kind of okay. Um, I, I don't really see it as that OP anymore. Um, it was more OP when you know you could take like Xyz and Synchros. Um, but even then, the, 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 I don't remember the last format we had this. This, this was like years ago. Uh, Future Fusion, uh, the errata is that you have to wait a turn um, before you mill the monsters, so it's not automatic, it's not uh, like automatically broken anymore, it's more of something that's just um, decent, you know? It's like, um, they, they, they kind of just took uh, like the speed of it out. It, it still does the same thing, it, it's still pretty uh, a pretty nice card if you pull it off, but it, they just took the speed out, so you kind of have to wait a turn. Uh, do, I, do I think it's still worth playing? Honestly, um, in some decks it, it could still be worth playing, but uh, for right now, um, I, I do think it's, it's fair at one, um, and I'm kind of glad to see it back. Alright, so after Future Division, we have Imperial Order, which uh, Negates all spell card effects on the field and once per turn during each standby phase, you have to pay 700 life points or destroy this card if you cannot pay 700 life points. It is not optional anymore, and um, although it is nice to negate all spell effects, um, it's not completely a pendulum stopper. Um, a lot of people are going to play it, but um, honestly, I, I'm still half and half on this. I don't think it's amazing, I don't think it's bad. Um, it's more just where it needs to be. Um, so at one, I don't mind it. Um, I already, I already hear people saying that they're gonna side, um, Dust Tornado or Main Deck it because of this card, but it's at one. So I'm, I'm sure that if your opponent has it, you would either have it out already, or, uh, you, you just might not even care at all. Um, unless it's like real first turn, then you're like, oh my god, what the hell am I gonna do? Then it's understandable. I'm not saying it's bad again. 
Uh, it is still pretty good. Uh, it's just not as uh, useful as it once was. I, I still think anti-spell um, had a stronger um, appearance, well not strong appearance, stronger force to it. Um, because anti-spell doesn't really hinder you as much as it hinders your opponent. Like if you activate it during their standby phase, then they lose a turn of spell and traps and, they, and then they get to set everything. And you still get to activate yours. And that, that's, that's the reason why I like Anti-Spell better than Imperial Order. But even then, it, both cards are hindrances to both players. So, unless, you know, you don't play any spell cards. But even then, it's, it's still nice to have back. Uh, Zoics are going to become a lot better because of this card. So, yeah. And uh, last of the limited erratas are Brio. And um, it's pretty much his... He has a sim the same effect, except it's once per turn. So it's not, you can discard as many times as you want, you just have to drop it all at once and send back all at once. Um, people have been complaining that, oh, Brio's bad, Brio's bad. I'm like, no, it's not. You know, like, uh, you're going to play it anyway. Um, Marmel's still are going to have a field day with this card. I mean, compared to Coral Dragon, this card's like a godsend, right? <laughs> I mean, imagine how many uh, effects they could pull off with just one Brio. Still, I understand the frustration of having to use it at once, like, like use it just that one time only. But um, it, it's it's still pretty good. Um, so back to the uh, list, we have um, Wisdomize semi limited. Um, Wisdomize all right. Uh, it's it's not really uh, perfect. Um, it's it's more of just something that uh, it's. It, I think this is just to sell. Uh, is, uh, Pendulum Domination, because uh, Pendulum Domination is no longer a structure deck, it's a set now, with Super and Ultra Rares, so uh, they want to make Magicians a little bit better, just so that sell, so that set can sell a little better. Uh, it makes sense. Uh, Rat and Kaiju Slumber to two, I, I honestly, um, I, I don't really think these are much of a big deal, um, as well. It's, uh, it's, it's more like, okay, so Rat is just... Uh, put down a two. Zodiacs are still playable at nearly full power. They just can't pull off as many combos first turn as they were able to before. And Slumber, Slumber to two, like, what, what's that going to do? Okay, we still have Foolish Burial Goods. We can still drop this and uh, search a Kaiju the next turn. Um, but we can also still, it's still at two. It's pretty, pretty much just Dark Hole at this point. Um, so it, it is still a good option to play. Uh, Kaiju Zoo, I don't know how that worked, I don't know if you absolutely needed three of each of these, but I, I still do think that this, that Slumber is fair, Rat, they were kind of lenient on it, but it did only come out, like, uh, last month, actually, yeah, so it only came out last month, so, it's understandable why they wouldn't hit it too hard, and, uh, honestly, I, I, I don't mind it. Uh, I, I kind of knew that Zoo was going to be the best deck of the format until Lynx. Um, they're, they're not going to hit uh, a the, the best deck of the, like the like the main selling set of the, uh, of the format, um, just like they did with Pepe. Because with Pepe, it was more urgency needed because that thing was like way more broken than Zoo is. Um, but Zoo is just way more explosive uh, off of one card. So it's uh, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying Pepe isn't explosive, it's just you needed multiple cards. You usually relied on getting Sorcerer, and then Monkey Board, and um, all this and that. Like, it's way more explosive as a deck, but Zodiacs only need one card to really go into all their combos. Um, so, lastly is uh, Sangin. Um, it, it has an errata where you can't use the monster, so if this card is sent from Field of Graveyard, add one monster 15 less attack from the deck to your hand, but for the rest of the turn, you can't activate cards with the same name as that monster. And, and you go to use the effect once per turn. So it's understandable why it's at 3. It's once per turn, and you can't use the monster that you search that turn. So it's perfectly fair now, and it's understandable why they bring it up to 3. We don't see that often, which is why uh, uh, it is um, kind of surprising to see it go up to 3. Maybe like 1 and then 2 and then 3 eventually. But, you know, just to hit it back up to 3 to say, okay, here, you can have all your Sagans back, just buy a uh, Duel Saga, and you just use as many as you want. Um, oh, man, I am a little sick right now. 
<laughs> but it, it, it is it is still a pretty good card. Um, it's not broken anymore. Um, it, it has too many um, too many uh, setbacks to be considered broken. Uh, it's kind of like Pot of Desires. It's like it's like yeah, I get to draw two, but I have to banish ten. It's not like I can't. You can't really consider that broken. It's, it's more of just okay. This is this card can net me advantage, but uh, it is pretty risky as well. Um, with Sangin, it can net you advantage, but uh, you kind of have to survive the turn. Um, and, you know, sometimes you know whether it's destroyed on your turn or your, your opponent's turn. Um, it may not be as helpful because the monster you can't use the monster that you add. So I mean, I can still see people playing this. Maybe at one, maybe at two. During link format, this this is going to be a good card during link format. But right now, I don't think it'll be that great. Um, honestly, this list could have been a whole lot better. I look. I, I think I'm just have to uh, play a OCG format. So I can play a uh, gateway because it doesn't look like we're getting gateway or shadows anytime back, uh, <laughs> back anytime soon. So um, if you want to play any of those two cards, honestly, just just play OCG format. Just go on Yu-Gi-Oh Pro, play OCG format. I might even do a video about that. Just playing six samurais OCG format, three gateway, do whatever the hell I want. Um, Harpy, they even have Harpy's Feather Dust over there, and that's another card that. Uh, didn't come back. Uh, Harpy Spider Duster and Chaos Emperor Dragon are two cards that we saw errated but didn't come back on this list. They may come back uh, when Links come out because when Links come out, there's, there's, there's a really high chance that Konami's going to make another list uh, for Link format because Gofu is pretty broken uh, for Links. So um, it could be. Um, we could have another list then. We might not. Um, who knows? Um, but, you know, until then, I, I guess we'll just have to uh, wait and see. But, you know, for now, um, we're pretty much still in the same format. Um, I don't mind this list. Um, I'm happy Norton didn't get banned, um, honestly. I, I didn't think it would get banned anyway, because after they reprinted Insufusion and Fusion Enforcers, um, they, they needed something to really keep Insufusion relevant, because uh, Theseus by itself is not going to keep Insufusion relevant. Maybe a few decks can play it, but it's, it's not all that great as a card, or as much as Konami thought it would be. So they're going to keep Norton here a bit longer. Maybe when Links come out, Norton might get banned, which is fair. I don't mind that. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I, I guess that's uh, that's it for now. So man, this was Nistro here, guys. Nistro out.